Mientras. Why are you speaking Spanish all of a sudden? En la okay. salsa. Oh, salsa. I know salsa. She's hitting me with the Spanish channel. What is up, y'all? It's your boy, Eli. And there's a couple things you may not know about. One, I live in Colorado now. And two, I have a Mexican grandma. And that is right, I do got a Mexican grandma. I came to Colorado to be closer to family while the pandemic's happening safely. But because of COVID, she's not gonna be able to join us, so you gotta play it safe. So who's the man for the job to take the baton and make the rice this year? This guy. So she's gonna be teaching me virtually how to make Mexican rice, and I'm gonna be presenting it to my family. But there's one thing people are always asking me, why don't you talk about your Mexican side more? Talk about your Mex Mexican side. I would love to. My grandma moved when I was five years old. So I grew up on my Puerto Rican side. So I, I talk a little bit about more like that, but I am excited and ready to dive in. And by the end of it, not only are my cousins gonna try it, my grandma's gonna admit that I'm the number one grab kid. It's gonna happen. Let's do it. We're about to cook it up. We're about to make it happen, Mexican style. I feel my Aztec warrior coming out already, son. Let's get it, let's get it. I love my grandma, y'all. Don't hate. This is your better like debut over here. Oh my God! Uh, I am taking the helm. You are passing the baton to me to make the arroz. <laughs> and I'm gonna be all giving right. it to all the cousins, all the little cousins this uh, Thanksgiving. Yay! I, I loved your rice growing up. I remember it like so fondly. <laughs> I'm excited to learn. I think I got all okay. your ingredients here. Okay. One, what's the first thing I do? And then two, I want to hear a little bit about yourself, your upbringing. Well, first we want to turn on the heat to medium. Oh, oh okay. okay, turn on the heat to medium. Turn on the heat to medium. And then you can measure two tablespoons oil. But you know what? I'm so used to doing this that I'm gonna drizzle because un pizquito de esto y un pizquito dos de otro, and that's how we cook Mexican style. Your grandma Puerto Rican, she knows that. It's a pinch of this and a dash of that. I'm not we'll there do yet. I'm not there yet. Two tablespoons of vegetable okay. oil. Okay. 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 I, I agree. I'm not. I'm not at that masterful level yet. All right, and then just put it in the and put it in there and put in the skillet, and then let the skillet warm. Gotcha, okay. You got yeah. that, see? I'm already cooking. <laughs> I'm already cooking, man. I'm already crushing it. And while it's getting warmed, you can measure one cup of rice. One cup of one rice. Cup. <laughs> Does it matter if I get the wrong grain? Like, what will come out like if I got the wrong? It just, it's well, it won't come out right if you get brown rice. And it won't come out if you get jasmine rice or any kind of that uh, really gourmet rice. No, we just want plain old long grain rice. I dig it, I dig it. Ain't no healthy stuff here. I used to have those same questions for my father and he would say to me, we were the only family coming to Northwest Indiana besides his brothers and his sisters who stayed behind in Mexico. And I would say, but why? Por qué? And he would say, Porque teníamos que comernos esta. <laughs> we were starving. <laughs> he said he came up north to work in the steel mills. So to work uh -huh. in the steel mills, yeah, there was good money. Mm, so okay. that was the reason we ended up in Northwest Indiana. East Chicago. Dang, EC. So if y'all don't know about EC, that's where it's at. It's the hood. My grandma's hood mm -hmm. is hell. Don't, don't <laughs> give her too much booze because she will mess you up. I want to put our rice oh. in our skillet now. It should okay. be warm enough. Grandma, I had a question. So like, I always get asked, okay, what part of Mexico are we from from? My father's family is from Toluca, Mexico, which mm. is a, a state east of Mexico City. And my mother's family is from San Luis Potosí which is nor a little north. It's north of Mexico City. Mm, okay, okay. All right, I'm putting the rice, putting the rice you in now. You put in your rice and you stir it up. And what we're doing now is we're browning the rice. Browning the rice. I prepped a little bit, so I already just diced my onion. What? I haven't even diced yet. I got to dice. I have a question for you, Grandma. You know Spanish. My question for you is, what was the mindset coming into the States of our Mexican family, because there's always a narrative. Because I always get crap talk about me because I don't know Spanish, because my mom doesn't know Spanish. So I'm pointing my finger at you, right. Grandma. But also, 
What was great grandma's kind of mindset? That's a good question. That's a very good question. I remember growing up, keep stirring your rice because you don't oh. want it to burn. I remember asking my mother the same thing because when we would speak to her, she always wanted us to speak to her in English. Mm. She would reply in Spanish and sometimes the other way around. But she always wanted us to speak English. And the purpose of that was, and actually I didn't really know what it was until I went to college and I studied Chicano Riqueño studies. Mm. And through those studies, they said that the women of the 1950s who ended up in Northwest Indiana wanted so badly for their children to succeed. And one of the ways they felt that their children could succeed was to be proficient in the English language. Damn. So my mother just wanted us to learn English. That was the mindset for my mother back in the 1950s. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with these onions. I don't know. I never diced onion. One little quarter piece of that onion and then dice it. So I would oh. say like a handful. A, a handful. handful of onion. Okay. And keep stirring your rice so it doesn't burn. Okay, I'm gonna try to <laughs> try to cut and stir at the same time. You can move your rice to the side so you don't burn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do these onions look good? Are they like perfect? Perfect. Good? Now just grab a handful and throw them on the rice. Okay, grabbing a handful. Is your rice brown enough? I don't know if that's like... Yeah, that, that's good. That will do, that will do. Here's mine. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, oh yeah, it's about the same. Yeah, yeah, pretty much the same. Okay, now take it off of there. Okay. And then you take your two cups of chicken broth. All right, and then I'm just pouring it in there. Yeah, pour one cup of water on top of that. Okay. Mientras. Mientras. Why are you speaking Spanish all of a sudden? Mientras agarra la okay, salsa. Oh, salsa. I know salsa. You see, she's hitting me with the Spanish challenge now. She's hitting me with the Spanish challenge. Okay. okay. Uh, to tomate. To tomate. Tom salsa de to tomate. Tomate. Media lata. Media lata. Oh, okay. A little bit. Media. La Me mitad. Medium. Med middle. Middle. Medium. La mitad. La mitad. Okay, just for the record, everyone that's watching, I did do a Spanish video. I was getting really good, and then I got sick, and then I kind of fell off. So that's my excuse. Just letting everybody know. I'm actually, I, I'm just. Okay. ¿Cómo se llama tu abuelita? Que? I saw rough. that video. You did a great job. Thank you, Grandma. And then stir. Stir. That's, oh, stir. That's the same stir. word in Spanish. Okay, I like that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, menelo bien, menelo bien. Manelo bien. La salsa debe estar calientándose muy bien. The debe salsa de estar, muy bien. Debe de estar hirviendo. It should be boiling. Debe de estar Boy, hirviendo. Oh, no, no hirviendo. You have to make it más caliente. Sí, un poco más calientito. We're going to put our spices in now. Oh, spice time. Okay, cool. It took me like a half hour to find comino. And I'm like, what the hell is comino? I'm like, I, I, said cumin, I was looking I'm at sorry. the cartel forever and then I Googled it and then I was like, oh, it's, it's cumin. I'm like, God damn it. Sprinkle some garlic salt over. I know I gave you measurements, but I didn't do that. That's enough. That's okay. enough. So right. sprinkle some garlic salt. Then we're going to open the pepper. Oh, pepper. And sprinkle some pepper. Then you're going to open that ground cumin, comino. A uh, comin uh, comino. And sprinkle some of that in there. And don't worry about the salt because you have to taste this before you put the salt in there. Sometimes you don't even need it. Oh my God, I could start, I could smell it now. You can oh smell it goodness. now, yes, it's smells good It's becoming nostalgic. Okay, and then take a good. spoon, a teaspoon, and taste it to see if it needs any salt. Is the flavor there? I think the flavor's kind of there. I can All eat right. this as a soup right now. <laughs> oh good, then the flavor's there. Then you take a little bunch of uh, cilantro, fresh cilantro. Oh, I hate See? cilantro. Oh, oh, don't okay. judge me. I, I, okay. I, I'll put you it don't in. need I'll to put, put it, it in. in. I don't need it's to put an it option. In. Every Mexican always makes fun of me because I don't like cilantro. Like, yeah, like every I Latino see. hates me because I don't yeah. like cilantro. Okay. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. Boiling. Make sure it's boiling. Is okay. it boiling really nice? Yeah, it's boiling pretty nice. Okay, go ahead and cover it. Cover it. Okay. Put your lid on it. Put your burner on low, put it on low, and set your timer for 15 minutes. 
that it? When it's done, you don't have to, don't lift the lid anymore because it's cooking. Oh, it's okay. Cooking. Oh, okay. okay. So that's it. And it'll be ready in 15 minutes. When when it's ready, when it when the timer goes off, take it off the burner and let it sit for just a few more minutes before you take the lid off. And it'll be tender like it needs to be. Yeah, well, this was a lot more simple than I thought. I'm like, yeah. I, I just thought it was this like crazy rocket science whenever you did it. I was like, well, that's how I feel. That's what I feel about Puerto Rican rice because there's so many ingredients that go into it that, you know, the flavor has to be just right. How do you get that flavor right? Well, since we're waiting, let's, I, okay. I just want to talk about me for a second. Okay. You know, uh, you know, what, what was it like when you saw me for the first time? Well, what was, I was the first. I'm the first of all the- You were the very, very first. And you're still right the first in my heart. You're still the first, you know. Okay, I'm giving this rice to all my cousins tomorrow and you know what I'm gonna say? <laughs> Grandma said I was the first, done. And I'm watching them cry, put more salt into yeah. the, uh, the rice as they eat it. The memories, I will never forget those beautiful memories. You know, you come in every year, every year. And I used to say, Eli, you don't have to come every year because <laughs> you're a teenager now. You want to be with your friends. I understand that. I get it. I told, but no, you warned my heart every year. And you said, no, <laughs> grandma, there's no place I'd rather be. That's right. That's right. Plus, I'll I didn't have any friends that. in high school. But that doesn't <laughs> matter. That's not the point. I love my grandma. That's what it's all about. <laughs> a couple of years ago, I got to go to Mexico City and I really got to kind of feel like I, I got a taste of it and felt it yes. and I just fell in love. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh my God, I want to go back so bad. Like the first place I'm going once this COVID thing's over is I'm going to Mexico. You know, as I go on to this journey to really dive in into my Mexican side, is there a checklist you want me to hit? Number one. <laughs> Learn Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal, because I'm going to learn Mexican Spanish before I learn Puerto Rican Spanish. Puerto Rican Spanish yeah. is a little too fast. That's a whole other game. <laughs> Mexican oh, Spanish is a little yes. slower. I could keep up with it. I love how we just killed 15 minutes. Yeah. I, I'm I so eager to look at this rice. And to see okay, we can take a, a look job. at it. Take your little spoon. Okay. You should have no more liquid in there. It's done. This yes. is the uh, moment of truth here. Oh, my God. All right, see, no liquid. Yes. yes, yes. I think mine is a little more orange than yours. Okay. I think I put a little more tomato sauce in mine than you. You said my, my, Madino, Madino, my, 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 medio, my, my, my. La mitad, yeah. Oh, it's so good. You made it! <laughs> Dun, da, da, da. I feel so accomplished. The rice is a little crunchy, but you know, other than that, it's pretty oh. good. If it still is, just let it sit a little more by itself. This is exactly what I've been it's missing. It's just missing the cilantro. <laughs> no, no, I think it's okay. I think it's all right without it. I okay. think it's good. Next step is, you know, okay. tomorrow is Thanksgiving uh, yes. the holidays. So I'm going to be giving this rice to our uh, my little cousins and see if they like it, since it's not yours. And hopefully <laughs> it's good reaction. Okay. You know, obviously I wish we were together, but um, I, I love that we could share this experience together. It shows the ways that we could still connect on a deeper level, right. even though we may be separate. I don't know, I just appreciate you so much. Like you gave so much oh. to me and made me the person that I am yeah. today. And I just, oh. I don't know, I love the hell out of you. Boy, I llorar, boy, I llorar. What does that like. mean? I'm the best. I'm gonna what? cry. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Okay, Grandma, okay. I love you so much. Oh, I love you too, Miko. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh. And this is Grandma's rice I made. Is it good? Yeah. Let's say Grandma's rice. So you approve? That's right. Also, just FYI, you know what Grandma also told me when we're cooking the rice? Yeah, I, I was her favorite. Oh, oh, it sucks. It burns. Oh, man. It sucks to be you guys. Follow like.